Aspartate transcarbamylase, or ATCase for short, is a well-studied example of allosteric regulation. ATCase catalyzes one of the early reactions in pyrimidine biosynthesis. This huge enzyme complex is composed of 12 subunits. Six are regulatory subunits that form a belt around the center of the complex. The remaining six subunits are arranged as two catalytic trimers, each positioned on one end of the enzyme. ATCase alternates between two conformational states, an inactive tense, or T state, and a catalytically active relaxed, or R state. ATCase is inactive when the inhibitor cytosine triphosphate is bound to its regulatory subunits. Binding of the two substrates, carbonyl phosphate and aspartate, to the catalytic subunits switches the enzyme into the active R state. The conformational change in ATCase from T state to R state involves a drastic change in the interactions between catalytic subunits. In the T state, glutamate 239 from a subunit of one catalytic trimer interacts with lysine 164 and tyrosine 165 from an adjacent subunit of the opposing catalytic trimer. With the transition to the R state, these subunit subunit interactions are lost. The glutamate now interacts with the lysine and tyrosine from its own subunit. These atomic level changes result in large movements of the subunits relative to one another. In each catalytic subunit of ATCase, the region of subunit subunit interaction, our glutamate lysine tyrosine trio, is very close to the enzyme's active site. These conformational changes that affect the subunit subunit interface in turn affect the active site residues. In the active R state, the active site side chains nestle up to the substrate to promote substrate binding and catalysis. In contrast, in the inactive T state, the active site side chains are dispersed.